This is the WOW Room. The WOW Room definitely lives up to its name. It's a room dedicated to the wonders of the sun. So this is where that big eruption's coming yeah. from. So in just a second, you'll see this huge structure Whoa. blast out, okay? That's the corona. What we hope is we'll see that during the eclipse. But you don't have to be in the wow room oh to get wowed during the total solar eclipse. The corona itself changes during the solar cycle. So for 2017, we were looking at the really kind of the quiet sun, you know, during solar minimum. Now we're gonna be looking at the sun almost or at the peak of solar activity and the corona is very, the structure of it is very different. Sometimes when you look at an eclipse, you can see these little pink structures. Those are what's called prominences, which is material from lower down in the atmosphere of the sun that's supported high up in the corona um, by magnetic fields. And it, it gives, literally gives off red, a reddish light. And so we can see them with our own eyes. There's also the much touted Bailey's beads and diamond ring phenomena, but witnessing an eclipse involves more than just your eyes. It's like when you go to that music concert and you just feel it and you start swaying and there's so much to experience. Let's look over here because we've got the darkness now. There is the lights obviously that are being dimmed as you go through the total solar eclipse. There are animals that react to this. They think it's nighttime. The colors are really what's most incredible out here. Crickets come out. Uh, you start to see stars come out and you'll actually see just the glow of like the sunrise all around the horizon. You'll start to feel the wind and the temperature drop. So you really are sensing things with your whole body, not just seeing it. And where you are plays a major role in what you'll see. Closest to the center line around say Mexico, Texas, Arkansas, you're gonna see almost four and a half minutes. And then as you move away from the center line to the edge, the time, the length of totality decreases. I can't even like imagine like getting that and being like, I feel like by the time your brain comprehends it, it's over. But even if you're not along the path of totality, you will still witness a stunning solar show that won't happen again until 2044. Just realizing that we spent all this time doing this and we live in a world that is perfectly aligned to see this every once in a while and to realize how special Earth is.